What's up? Hello, what's up guys? Great Asian here with my friend Jesse. Today, we ordered Jack in the Box. We're now going to be eating a bunch of Jack in the Box. This took too long to get. Order right. He's experienced a new adventure that he never wanted. Okay, right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak on this rant. That's Yesterday, I got a strawberry shake. My dog freaking destroyed it, okay? Whatever. I got mad, so I went to Jack in the Box, got a strawberry shake, some 10 chicken nuggets for free. Because I have points, I'm that good. Okay, then I get home, I see the strawberry shake, whatever, I drink it, whatever. I open the damn chicken nuggets, and what's in there? 700 jalapeno poppers. Why is it in there? I called them 10 times, they didn't pick up. I used my Asian brother Nathan's phone. They picked up. What the hell? And then, they said, okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Give, give us a number to call on. I give them my number. All right? And you know, you know, you know what happens? Freaking, they don't call back. So, me and him went to Jack the Box, and then we got the chicken nuggets. We got the chicken nuggets. Okay? And then, we go back around. We order food. Okay? And I order on my phone. He orders food. And what do they do? Give us the wrong order. Okay? So, we go all the way around again. And they give us our correct order. They shouldn't take this long. Now look, I love Jack and Mugs. They've never disappointed me. But this time, they've really disappointed me. I mean, sure the night crew's forgotten a couple of our receipts, whatever. It's fine. So I got a long journey. We got we, we I mean we got free food but still. <laughs> Sourdough Jack. This is your it's been quite the experience. Kind of funny. Can't help but laugh. It's funny. It will be funny. It's still funny. It's funny right now. Right now I'm a little on edge. This is your one of the chicken sandwiches. Chicken sandwich. Another chicken sandwich there. For me, I thought you wanted to eat. Okay, whatever. Um, I can eat it. I'm kidding. Either way, either way. We'll see. We'll see. Cause I got the burger right there. Yeah. Free food. And uh, what's in here? Dude, that looks awesome. Curly fries. Right here. Nice. Do you not like the veggies? No, they gave me the normal fries, and I wanted the curly fries. So no, that's part of the part of the delivery order. Yeah. When they got messed up. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I think the Sardo Jack is honestly one of the best items at Jack and Bugs. So, look, it's just. First of all, on sourdough bread, it's unique. We have a deep love of Jack in the Box. And, and then look. On nighttime, they tomato, so a lot. Swiss bacon, it's amazing. Look, we have a deep love for Jack in the Box, it's true. The mornings, they, it's great. Amazing, fantastic. Nighttime, night, look, I get it. I work at nighttime at Tommy's, but. Come on. I don't usually mess up orders. They're like, hello, welcome to Jack and Box. From reality, the fuck do you want? Have I wanted to say that so many times? Yeah, multiple times. You know, you know when they when they come at nighttime, the customer, I'm like, what? Would you like to order at Tommy's? I'm a little shit. Sourdough Jack. You know, I had a customer the other day. They're like, our food's not hot. It's warm. Like, how, how the hell are you going to eat hot food? They're like, it's warm. No, no, no. They might be monsters like my mom is. My mom will eat food at 135 degrees. And, and just doesn't experience any pain from this. And everyone else in the room looks at her like, what are you? She will take the hottest temperature possible pasta. She will take it, put it in a bowl, and eat it right then. Who can do that? That's actually pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. It, it would be impressive if it, if it wasn't just so freaking weird, man. It's, it's so weird, though. It's so weird. Very weird. This isn't even that warm anymore. 
You know what? I don't care though. I'm, I'm just glad to eat this. Oh, this was in the shape of Jack's head. Hmm? Oh, this was in the shape of Jack's head. You know, the body of Jack is actually pretty good, but also sounded Jack. Delicious. I never really tried it until like a couple months ago, and I'm like, it's my new thing. What it's if like, they have like a sandwich? That they, it's a shape they only make if you come through three times in like ten minutes. You go and it's just a Jack in the Box, you know, it's it's a Jack in the Box face, and it's pointing at you, and the box says "Got you, sucker." <laughs> they have a commercial. <laughs> That's a commercial with a breakfast Jack, and it's like pancakes in the shape of Jack's head. I think I'll show you. That. Mm -hmm. And we should get some Jumbo Jacks and some tacos, a Jumbaco. You remember that commercial? I love that commercial. The Jumbacos. Imagine being ahead of your time, 50 years. By the way, look, be on the lookout for Angry Asian Director Commentaries. Because I've been doing that. So yeah. Also, I love Cruella. I have to reinstate that, like, every time we do one of these videos. I'm also gonna see if I'm assembled live, which is my favorite band. Yo, imagine this becomes a playlist. The Jack in the Box Saga. Oh, it's just gonna be a podcast now. No, I, I got, I, <laughs> I did, I did get tickets for Avenged Sevenfold. Oh God, we're gonna be in the front of like, notice me, I'm shadowed, notice me. Hey, can you see my favorite band live? That's gonna be awesome. I've waited and dreamed of this moment. That's not a joke. I really did back in high school. Look at me now. You know, what's up? People get judged for wanting certain things that they never had, especially when it comes to artists. Even like people might think it's silly, but if someone worked for an incredibly long time to get it, it's like, are you really going to disrespect that dream? I've been in YouTube for a long time, and now I'm actually growing. Mm. You know, people do this for fun or YouTube clone all that. Look at you, Nick Cut Avocado. Yeah. Wait, some people like actually do it. Are entertaining. I'm look like Ben Dean. He's actually pretty cool when he does stuff like this. I actually like his videos a lot. So Ben Dean, if, if you're also watching this, please. Uh, I love your videos. Let us know how we you can rate our uh, commentary. He's just a cool <laughs> how, how do you like the shakes, by the way? Is it good? What kind of shake do you get? I'm quite the critic of shakes. Like, have you claimed for such things? I rate this shake a 4 out of 10. It's Should edible. It does not taste great. In fact, it barely tastes good. It falls short of tasting good. Why? It is just simply the texture of a shake. No, what kind did you get? I got a chocolate shake. Well, that's like your first problem. They're, they're a special kind. Her chocolate shakes aren't that great. I don't know. You know, normally the other ones hit more, you know? More. It's just like, I I have lived so many places where I've tried every shake. And I've had some great ones. I mean, this one is not. I can I, tell you I, the I best shakes I've ever had were not an ice cream machine. machine. They were made by him. Okay, thing. well. And the best shake I ever had. And places like IHOP did that. Not mm. exactly a luxury diner. So the real question is, what the hell is everyone else doing wrong? To be fair, they're more real food than Jack in the Box. And that's true. I mean, come on, you gotta agree. That with is that. true. But even I, Wiener Central in Arizona would not, they wouldn't do it like that. Now they, they did win me over because they put 
I, they'd make it a huge cup. It'd be a yeah. big one, and then they put a lot of whipped cream on it. Right? Okay, that's good enough. Oh. No, I wouldn't get the rest on the side, but I would get like a mountain know, yeah. of whipped cream. Oh, okay. They give me like this right here, this size. Yeah. They give me as a shake, and then put the whipped cream on top, and we'll, they would. Oh, wait, wait. What was the place that when you got it, you had it on the side? Oh, when I got it inside, that was IHOP. Oh, that was IHOP. IHOP okay. would give me that. They'd give me a full shake, and then they'd give me the metal container they made it in to finish off the shake when I was done with that first one. That's pretty badass. Oh, yeah. That was, <laughs> for the price they charged, that was pretty fair. <laughs> By the way, not being biased, but we just so does have pretty good shakes. It's, you know, and they they were second place over there. As far as I was concerned. The Jack and Box, they're pretty what thick and What is that? Is that a classic burger? Oh, look, man. They were just part of the Did free they food. Just, they like, actually they gave us a messed up order. The real question is who orders a mean, classic burger? This is a quarter pound burger with double quarter pound. Just a plant. Oh, they're one of those guys. What'd they do? It's just cheese, ketchup, and fucking meat. How the hell are you going to eat that? <coughs> if it's a child, I understand, but seriously, <laughs> you're an adult, man. Please put a tomato on it, some lettuce, or something. Come on. I know this is like cheese, bacon, more meat, and all that, but like, I don't mind some lettuce or tomato on it. It says tomato on it. I don't mind tomato, lettuce, or onion. You know? The saddest I had was McDonald's had a special. At one point, I think it was like the it was the four patty like Big Mac or something. Yeah. It wasn't named that, but it, that was essentially what it was. Now, my biological father bought this, brought it home, and he texted me, "Hey, I got you this crazy Big Mac." I'm like, "Awesome! It arrived." He had all of the tomatoes removed, all of the lettuce removed, and all the cheese removed. It was four hamburger patties in a bun. I, did, I didn't touch it. I was ungrateful. What, was he on a fucking I very, diet? I was an ungrateful human being. I was very ungrateful. I've grown a great deal since then, obviously. I was like a kid. But it was like, dude, like... What's the, the point of the Big Mac? Right? And he probably, he you honestly could, probably spent like $17 on You could have gotten, a, more, like, you could have just went to McDonald's, gotten four patties for cheap, probably for like $4, too. That's what people don't realize. Like, I, hmm. And you know what? You know what? I may have been harsh on Jack in the Box, okay? But you know what they did? They put sorry. They put sorry for the mess up. And you know what? Fair enough. I respect that. I respect you it. Open it and see if it's jalapeno poppers. Sure. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Listen, listen. Yo, this imagine. Is, this is before the game. Oh, was. dude. This is before they gave us the delivery stuff, so I want to make that clear. This was trip two out of three? No, it's trip one out of three. <laughs> the jalapeno poppers? No, the chicken. What the hell is this? <laughs> what is this? I don't know if you can see. They got you, dude. They got you. You didn't expect it. So I'm going to eat it. Don't you, you want some? <laughs> I have enough fries for two humans. Still gonna eat it. It's ten chicken nuggets. Oh yeah, this burger by the way. How do you like it? I'm, I'm gonna save well. <laughs> You're what? I'm saving the second one. You should. I'm not. Because here's the thing. I don't have anything for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Jack. So I'll come home. Microwave it. That's all I need. Why is barbecue sauce so hard though? Dude? It's intentional. I feel like there's someone who intentionally sits there and is like, what's the most you know difficult what? way that I can do this? No, my nuggets. I'm what shaking. if they just hire a professional? They're like, hey, I need to make it as inconvenient as humanly possible 
to open this nice necessity. And he's like, alright, I got you. And he comes back with, like, CO2 suction <laughs> plastic containers. <laughs> you just can't open it. He's got like he's got like the he's got like a metal can lid on there. <laughs> you want your barbecue sauce? You gotta get a can opener to open it. Oh man! <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, I think I had a whole different one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I swear, bro. Why? Why are these chicken nuggets so small? I know there's supposed to be nuggets, but dude, <laughs> the apology nuggets are, are minus fifty percent size. I got the nuggets. I don't care. The apology nuggets. These are taste man. good. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're bad. Whoa, well, man, just getting tucked. <laughs> Take a bite. Trust me and take a bite. That's what I don't want to do. No, no, no. Tr trust me. Please. But I'll be depressed. Goodbye. I'll get instantaneous sadness Goodbye. for the rest of the day if Goodbye. I do it. Goodbye. I'm certain of this moment. Do you, do you see the problem? Wait, okay, you don't understand? Do you, do you see the problem with the chicken nugget? It's not what chicken nugget is supposed to look like. No, 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 there's too much breading on some of them. Look, if you feel it, it's a little squishy. It's squishy, the breading's squishy. That's. Oh, no problem. You're tasting correct. How could they have done this? They should be perfect. I got chicken nuggets, I don't care. I got the nuggets. I don't admit, you know what I'm gonna do tonight? To freaking play Sims or something. Tonight. I have to confess, I haven't seen your first videos, so I guess I'm going to be watching those and giving you a real harsh critique about them. Because, yeah, I didn't even, I don't care if you haven't seen my first video. <laughs> so it's, it's, that's going to be what happens if this, this takes off. And <laughs> I've made a song that I'm going to upload, by the way. It's going to be awesome. Is it a Mario soundtrack? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just Connor like strumming on the guitar real hard and then it's just... I'm surprised we didn't shut someone out mac and cheese. <sighs> I'll have a little bit of time left until. I'm surprised Black Angus costs more than $30 for just a normal entree. You could literally order a salad and it would be $30. Not that money is a problem, but for a salad, $30. Do you remember that time with the Outback set costs just, way better? It's pretty much, man. Yeah, the, <laughs> the Bloomin' Onion. The Bloomin' Onion. Good deal, though. The Bloomin' <laughs> Onion. Dude, Outback set costs was dope. Took some of it home and I ate it for breakfast with some of those. It's pretty good. Yep. I didn't touch the fries yet. I went, oh crap. Have the whole thing. They're cold. They're cold? Oh my god. I don't care. I don't they've done this. Well, I was gonna end it for a raw video, whatever, for Jack and Bucks. When I don't want the food yet, I'm gonna eat it, but it's my. I'm running out of stone this space. So look, you guys have a good day, night, wherever the hell you are. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more, I'll make more videos like this. We do this all the time. This isn't even a joke. This is just us. Alright, well, see ya.